In this video, I'll be giving examples for subsets and supersets. So if you look at this blue line here, this represents our universal set. Uh, it, we've defined it to be the integers from 1 to 11. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 11. Don't let it concern you that there are elements outside of our universe. Um, that just means that they are, I mean, that just means they're not in the universe that we have in question right now. So it's no different than having stars outside of your galaxy. You're not concerned by that. It's just a matter of fact. So if you look at this green line, uh, what, what set would that be? Well, it contains elements 3, beta, and gamma. So does B. B contains 3, beta, and gamma. So this would be the set B. Likewise, this set here, it contains elements 3, 1, and x. Well, A contains 3, 1, and x. So this is the set A. And finally, this set uh, contains elements 1 and 3. This set contains elements 1 and 3. So this is the set C. Now, what can be said about these sets? Well, we have, uh, we can say that C is a subset of the universe because all elements of C are elements of the universe. Furthermore, we can say that uh, the set B is not a subset of the universe because there are elements of B that are not within the universe. Also, we can say that the universe is not a subset, or a superset of A because there's elements of a that are not within, uh, or not contained by the universe. And finally, we can say that the universe is a proper superset of C, because the universe contains all elements of C, except and, and there are elements within the universe that are not within the set C. So if we wanted to be more specific, we could actually say that C is a proper subset of the universe.